There are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. We had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump scoring off in the first presidential debate of this election cycle with border security continuing to be a talking point for both campaigns. Certainly a lot of firsts in this debate. It was the first time a presidential debate included a uh, sitting president as well as a former president. Mm -hmm. It was also the earliest a presidential debate has been held in an election cycle and perhaps the first time we've seen two candidates arguing about their golf handicaps. Thank you for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Monica Cortez. If you watch the debate, you definitely know what we're talking about. This was also the first general election presidential debate without an in-person audience in more than six decades. Now, reaction has been flooding social media, most of it very mixed on who helped or hurt their chances for another four years in the White House. NBC's Bree Jackson has the highlights from tonight's debate. United States, Joe Biden. An historic rematch four years in the making. President Biden and former President Trump taking the stage for the first presidential debate of 2024, hosted by CNN, squaring off on a top issue for voters, the economy. He didn't do much at all. By the time he left, there were things were in chaos, literally chaos. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job, and inflation's killing our country. It is absolutely killing us. The two oldest candidates to ever run for president sparring over decades-old issues, including reproductive rights. What I did is I put three great Supreme Court justices on the court, and they happened to vote in favor of killing Roe v. Wade and moving it back to the states. If I'm elected, I'm going to restore Roe v. Wade. On concerns about immigration. He opened the borders. Nobody's ever seen anything like, and we have to get a lot of these people out, and we have to get them out fast. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, and then the families were separated. Each taking their stance on domestic issues and setting out clear differences on foreign policy. Every time that... Zelensky comes to this country, he walks away with $60 billion. He's the greatest salesman ever. He has no idea what the hell he's talking about. And by the way, I got 50 other nations around the world to support Ukraine. The president directly accusing Trump of inciting the January 6th attack. This guy is responsible for doing what is being, uh, was done. He did do a damn thing, and these people should be in jail. What you have done, how you've destroyed the lives of so many people. Two presidential candidates with two very different visions for the future. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.